sticking with state specific legislation, let, let's go uh, to Wyoming, mm-hmm. right? You've done an incredible job there. Um, walk us through, there's five pieces of legislation. Yep. Just walk us through kind of what happened uh, and, and kind of where we are today and why Wyoming has been able to, to kind of get this stuff across the finish line. Well, it was just a fortuitous thing. I was just quietly, um, I, because I happened to get into Bitcoin pretty early, had like a lot of folks um, gains and was mm-hmm. willing to share the wealth and, and uh, also wanted to solve a problem, which is that there are not a lot of female engineers. And out there, not just in this industry, but across the board, my dad had been department head of electrical engineering for at the University of Wyoming. So I thought, well, just this, you know, endowing with Bitcoin gains a fund for female engineers um, checked Amazing. a lot of my boxes, right? <laughs> and I just quietly did it. I wasn't telling anyone about it. And I and, uh, just assumed the University of Wyoming could, you know, get an account with Coinbase. I used to be on the foundation board there. So I was, uh, you know, helping them through that and then ran smack dab into the, pro- the Wyoming law problem, which was that they had one of the worst money transmission laws and uh, was one of three states Coinbase couldn't do business in, um, and nor could BitPay or Circle and, or any of the other competitors. And so um, I said, guys, let's go fix that. And mm-hmm. it turned into, let's more than fix that. Let's actually you know, define utility tokens as a new class of property, digital mm-hmm. property, that is exempt from securities laws and from money transmission laws. Um, and we exempted, um, open blockchain tokens from property taxes. Uh, we, we, we did all kinds of uh, interesting things uh, that, that basically made it a very crypto friendly uh, state. It is the most crypto friendly state right now. Absolutely. And, and so what do you think that does? Obviously, it's going to incentivize people to move to Wyoming, their business, right, in, in terms of uh, to, to get a lot of this work done there. Um, do you think that it can have an uh, impact on other states or at the federal level? Well, great question. Uh, now, Wyoming is the state that invented the limited liability company in 1977. So it wasn't actually that uh-huh. far-fetched that it was going to be doing some interesting things mm-hmm. um, because it has a history like Delaware of doing of being a leader in a particular type of of business entity formation. Uh, and so um, we wanted to, but but Delaware stepped in and, and, and sort of stole Wyoming's lead over the years as being the place where most LLCs formed. And so this was a chance for Wyoming to, to try to steal that lead back. <laughs> um, and, 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 you know, it's been, it's, it's been good. A lot of folks have, uh, have formed companies in Wyoming. I haven't looked at the recent numbers, but I, I, I just see it through the Wyoming Blockchain Coalition. Still, uh, every day, a couple of companies reach out looking for attorneys in, in Wyoming, looking for reference for mm-hmm. people who can help them structure their, their token offering. Um, uh, um, you asked a question about the federal impact. I, I, there, there definitely are some congressmen who, are, who watched what happened in Wyoming and who very much like what happened in Wyoming, mm-hmm. but the federal uh, issue is a whole new can of worms. Um, and, and it's fascinating because uh, securities law is, has been adjudicated by the Supreme Court to be a federal jurisdiction, mm-hmm. um, but property is the jurisdiction of the states. So actually, in the next Wyoming legislative session, the task force that I'm on, um, we're going to have a couple of new bills, and one of them is going to actually pull out the utility token language from the securities title, which is where it, it, it resides right now in the in the chapter, if you will, of Wyoming mm-hmm. law that is securities. It's an exemption from securities. We're actually going to uh, pull it out and create it as a new class of property. That is for the legal minded folks out there. Um, the Uniform Commercial Code is state law. Commerce, commerce is state law. And so mm-hmm. if we can actually get it into uh, a classification of property as opposed to securities, it actually increases the probability that if there ever is litigation, that a judge is going to say that's not federal jurisdiction. So we're setting it up for folks to to come in um, who want to stay in the United States, um, but recognize that there's there's legal risk. I'm certainly not advising folks to do anything without getting independent counsel. I'm not giving legal or investment advice here, but um, but we have had a number of companies who have very publicly said they want to stay in the United States and they're coming to Wyoming because they just don't believe that the federal government should be running American businesses offshore.